Welcome into Almost Spring and to today's video, which is the top 10 spring eyeshadow palettes from my collection. I love spring. Spring is probably everybody's favorite season. I know that it's definitely mine. It's the time of year where the sun sets a little bit later in the day, longer sunsets, really good weather. It's the time of year when you can hang outside and go walking as the sun is going down and really just enjoying yourselves. It is the time of year where I get into more colorful and bright eyeshadows, definitely more warm tones and fiery looks, a lot of yellows and greens and blues and that sort of thing. So I thought it would be fun to do today's video. I do have top 15 palettes in my collection that I wanna go over. I did do a video of the top 10 fall eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I couldn't narrow down the top 10 for spring because there's just a couple in here that are like new releases that I think were really good for today's video. So I do have 15 in here and a couple that I'm gonna throw in for bonus that I haven't actually tried yet, but I have picked up. That I do want to test out for spring so let's hop right into it these are in no particular order i have just pulled these out these are the ones that i'll be reaching for during the springtime there's just a lot of fun colors there are a lot of like yellows and oranges and things that i really like personally to wear probably a lot of like warm tones there are some cool tone palettes in here but i'm mostly like a warm tone palette kind of girl especially in the fall and springtime so like i said these are not in any particular order these are just the ones that i usually reach for in the springtime. So if you have these in your collection, I would say this is the time now to pull these out. If you don't have these, there are some of these that are super good quality. And of course, I will be linking everything down below. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Some of these might be a little bit unusual and not your like mainstream, but of course there are some mainstream palettes in here. And I mentioned that because the first one that I have is called the Me, Myself and I. This is a pressed pigment palette. This is from an indie brand out of the UK and they are called Unique Beauty. I recently tried this brand and I picked up three little palettes from them. I think these are their like mini palettes and they are so good. The shimmers are great, the mattes are great. They blend like a dream. They're super pigmented. They're good for everyday wear, but you can also amp up some of these. The other two palettes that I have are more suited for like the fall. They're definitely some cooler tones in those palettes. There's definitely darker and deeper shades in there, but this one in particular, I have actually already been wearing this year. <laughs> and I think it's great, great color story. Super simple, super easy for the spring months. Here is the color story. So what I love about these palettes, and they're all like this, and I say this a lot in my videos, which is I like an even ratio. I'm just the kind of person who wants to go with a dark shimmer, with a light shimmer, like a mid-tone shimmer, and I wanna be able to, with the mattes, kind of build a transition, a crease, and an outer corner, and build depth. And you get that with all of their palettes. Their color stories are really complementary for that kind of eye look. They just make sense to me. They're super digestible. These shimmers are super light reflective. They're really, really good quality. They're nice and soft, but they're all really pigmented. It does have one deep shimmer, one dark shimmer, one shimmer that's like almost a duochrome that I absolutely love. And then mattes that you can build a transition, crease, outer corner. Man, it is just my kind of color story. This is the kind of color story that I would typically reach for in the spring months because you have a mixture. Like this is a cool tone, this is a warm tone. I don't know, these are just kind of the oranges that I absolutely love on an everyday basis to like grab and wear to work basically to anything. So I love, love, love this. You guys, these are so inexpensive. Of course, I'm gonna list this down below, but you can get these online. I wanna talk about some palettes from a brand that I have a pretty big collection of. There are a lot of palettes that I love for spring. And some of these palettes, I really don't even bring out any other time of year because they're really just suited for the springtime. And I do have mm, five in my collection. So they do take up five of the top 15 in my palettes. And I know that might be excessive, but I really, really reach for these in the spring. So I would be remiss if I did not mention them. The brand is BH Cosmetics and the first palette that I have is Lost in Los Angeles. This is from their travel series. And as far as I know, these are still all available on their website. This color story is just pastel. Like why would you not reach for this in the springtime? This is a spring and summer palette Basically, it sits in my drawer until spring and summer and that's it. Those are the times that I use this palette. I just think it's beautiful. BH Cosmetics is one of those brands that is really affordable and the quality is pretty freaking superb for the most part. They did have some new releases of like small quads. I think the quality was not just not good, they were bad. And while some of those color stories would have been good for the spring and summertime, these ones from the travel series are just so, so good. So this pastel-y one has everything that I would want, like a variety of shimmers, a variety of pastel mattes. They blend like a dream. The 
the shimmer formula from BH Cosmetics is very comparable to high-end shadows that I have in my collection. The mattes are all really pigmented. Again, they blend themselves. I do very little work when I'm working with BH Cosmetics, especially in this series. The next one that I have is Party in Puerto Rico. So yeah, I mean, do I need I say more? This is a warm tone, yellow, pinks, oranges, like super fiery color story. It, it's like my favorite. It's This is the kind of color story that I reach for every day, like going to work in the spring and summertime. They're just for me, what I feel comfortable in and what I think looks really good on me. Again, lives in my drawer until the spring and summertime and that's when it comes out. It's got some light shimmers, some dark shimmers, light mattes, dark mattes, and then you get these fun shimmers here too, which is sometimes just so nice to play with. In the springtime, it's usually when I get a little bit more creative with like the pinks, yellows, and oranges. So that is a really good one. The next one that I have is not my favorite from this stack by any means, but it's one that I wear a lot for a more natural looking everyday spring look that is hanging in Hawaii. Now I have to criticize this color story just a little bit because there are some shades that are very similar in here, but what I do end up reaching for, like it does give me depth and it does give me an eye look that I really like, look confident in, makes me feel like, wow, you know, that quality or that eye look looks really good when I'm wearing it to work. Just have to say like it's an everyday palette for springtime. And while some of these are super vibrant and I wouldn't wear them everywhere, like I might wear them to the beach or something like that. I won't always grab for all of these palettes to wear to work, but this is a spring and summer palette that I will wear to work. So had to throw this one in there. I know some of the colors are similar, but the quality is just so, so good. The next one I have is also from the travel series. This is Summer in Saint-Tropez. I don't care if it says summer. Some of these shades scream super springtime to me. You've got like this really, really bright, vibrant yellow. Like these ones are just spring colors for me. And while there's like some in here that are similar to the other ones in terms of like the yellows and the oranges and the pinks, and I know that I say that a lot because those are the colors that I reach for most frequently in this, the springtime, there are some fun, fun colors in here. Also some fun shimmer colors, which I tend to get a little bit more like creative with or venture outside of the everyday looks a little bit more in the springtime. I just, I don't know, I get, I get happy and that's what happens. So this is another good one. That is it from the Travel Series collection, but I do wanna bring another one up from their Weekend Vibes collection, and this is the Mimosa palette. This is again, you're gonna look at this color story and go, oh yeah, well, I can see why she put that in there. Like, yeah, I did. <laughs> This is my kind of color story for spring and summer. There is nothing in here I wouldn't reach for every day. Not one shade that I wouldn't put on to go to work. It's just that kind of color story for me. This one actually I feel like is a little bit better quality than the travel series. Like there's just something about the Weekend Vibes collection that has a little bit more pigmentation. I don't know, they blend themselves just a little bit easier. So super fun and there's some really, really fun colors in here. Like this one is almost like the Dior blush in Rosy Glow. Like it's just really pretty, not for my cheeks because I've said before I don't care for that color on my cheeks, but it's a really fun color on the eyes. I love this shade called OJ. I don't know. I mean, what, what doesn't say like spring and summer about this and who doesn't like to drink mimosas? I know I do. The next one that I have is a very new release. This one is from Too Faced. This is the Italian Spritz palette. I think it was a really good idea that they launched this palette right at this time of year. I have played with this palette only once. I did a dedicated video on that palette. I'll try and link it up in the cards, but this is just spring themed. I mean, Italian Spritz, fruity drinks. There, honestly, there's nothing about this palette that doesn't scream spring and summertime. It's really heavy on like the warm tones, which I absolutely love. It's a little bit darker than say like the Mimosas color story. You get some fun pops of blue in here, a fun pop of purple. However, those aren't my favorite shades because they're just toppers and I'm not a huge fan of toppers, but I do think that you could add like little accents and inner corners and drag it on your little lash line that gives it a little bit pop of color without it being something that's like, you know, overly impactful all over the lid. It's just a really good quality palette. I haven't tried any other Too Faced palettes in this like tin packaging before. And so I wasn't displeased. I mean, it's not the best quality in my collection, but it's like pretty good quality. And I have tried other Too Faced palettes before. And I think this one probably is up there with like the quality between the other two or compared to the other two. So yeah, I really enjoy this color story. I created what I called a sunset in my last video and I did a halo eye and I just, I don't know, I thought it was really fun. I had a really good time. So now that it's here and it's new for me, I'm definitely gonna be reaching for this in the springtime. The next one that I have is probably one of the few that has like a cool tone color story that I think is actually really good for the springtime because 
Like I said, I reach for more warm tones in the spring, but I reach for more warm tones all year anyway. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. It's just full of pinkies and greens and really light color stories that kind of dream spring and spring floral. I did an eye look recently and I matched the greens and the pinks and I thought it was beautiful. It was a really like spring colored eye look. I thought both of those colors were very complementary together. You know, mostly I was using like this shade right here and doing a lot of like monochromatic looks when it was like not springtime, but I think you can get away with mixing the greens and pinks in here for the spring. Not that you couldn't just get the cool tones for fall and do an all green look. I also think that this palette is good for that. But for me and my preferences, I think this is more of a springtime palette for me. So I wanted to throw that one in there. The next one that I have, not a new release. I love it though. I love it. I love these. Oof. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This color story is literally to die for, in my opinion. I would grab for this even in the fall time just because I love the color story, but I think it's best suited for spring and summer. I mean, it just has that very lavendery, very pastel vibe about it. And you can get some monochromatic looks, but you can also mix and match. And the quality of Huda Beauty, you know, if you haven't tried their formula before, which I doubt anyone watching this video hasn't tried it, but hey, if you haven't, let me know in the comments. This particular palette is made up of amazing shimmers. There's not a shadow in here that I dislike. There are some that I actually dislike in some of her palettes of this size, because they're different, they're unique. Some of the quality in the last Empowered palette wasn't the greatest in my opinion. Some of the Shimmers were just chunky. I think she was trying to do too much into one palette, but I think this particular launch, every shimmer is great. Every matte is great. No repetitive shades. Where I did think in the Empowered palette that came out in fall, which was totally a warm tone fall color story, this particular one doesn't seem to have any shades that are relatively similar to one another. So I don't think there's any repetition. It's just gorgeous and beautiful and you can get depth or you can go light like oof. The quality on this is superb. And of course, none of these palettes that I'm talking about today is the quality bad. Like these are some of my favorite brands in my collection altogether. Love, love, love. While the quality is better in some than the others, they're all great. Like these are tried and true palettes for me and not one of them do I, I have issues with like patchiness or pigmentation or nothing. These are all really, really good in those departments. So the next one that I have is also from Huda Beauty. This is the New Nude. This is probably the other one that I would say has some cool tones for springtime that I think just work for spring. There are um, some pressed glitters in here, two to be exact, that aren't my favorite. Like I think we're over pressed glitters at this time. You know, like they're good for like holiday parties or things like that, but we're just not wearing pressed glitters into the office. <laughs> But I think that they're still beautiful colors in the press glitters. I mean, these seem like press glitters that I would mess with because they're good quality, they're nice colors, they're complimentary. This might be a palette that you could criticize like one of the shades, but honestly, this is a really good base. Like this is such good quality base. I have used this multiple times. I have even used this as concealer <laughs> in certain cases and I love it. Like don't judge me that I've used it for concealer. I just did. I was like, oh, I need to touch up and I did it. But I've used this as an eyeshadow base and it like literally makes the shadows last. No shadow has any trouble like sitting on top of it. This is just a color story that's cool toned springtime. What else can I say? Super, super good quality. The next one that I have is from ColourPop. This is one of my larger palettes in my collection. And I'm not like a huge big palette person, like a fan of them, because I just think that they're hard to store. I think like sometimes I get overwhelmed. It's just not the color story that I typically like to reach for. I think this is a good quality from ColourPop. It's just meant to be springtime. I think this launched last year in spring. And like all of these green tones, I could see myself, well, I have messed with these, but this is like I could see myself messing with these more in the springtime, like these fun pops of pink and you get some pastel-y colors, but you know, bright green, lime green shimmers, so good. Like how do you not associate lime green with springtime? Like I do anyway. You have some darker shades down here. I actually haven't messed with a lot of the darker ones quite yet because I did mess with this like last summer, I think, and then started to play with it again this spring. But yeah, I mean, from here up and these three shades right here, super springtime for me. Just the color story. I don't think this is the my favorite color pop quality of any palette. And this is the only large palette that I have from ColourPop. I have a lot of 
not a lot, but I have quite a bit of smaller ones. So I don't think that this is the best quality for them, but I wouldn't say that it's bad. It's just that it's not the longest lasting formula in some of their like other palettes anyway. But it's it's a good color story. I think it was meant and intended to be kind of a springtime palette. Okay, that was 10. So the 11th one that I have to pull out is the Corderosa palette from Sigma. I picked this up last spring and this is totally a spring color story. I played with this pretty much all spring and summer last year. I really, really love it. It's full of like cool tones and warm tones, super deep mattes, super light mattes, super light shimmers, super deep shimmers. It's my kind of color story. Most of my looks that I pull out of this end up being like warm toned looks. I just love it. I think the quality on this particular palette is really, really good. I don't usually ever get any inconsistencies with the Sigma formula. The shimmers are pretty much always the same. The mattes are usually always the same. Pigmented, blendable, they are not the longest lasting shadow in my collection, but I think that they're very, very good for everyday use. And yeah, this is the color story that I love, love, love for springtime. The next three that I have are all from the same collection, but they do make up 12, 13, 14 in this top 15. This is the new collection, the collaboration with Odin's Eye and some of the creators here on YouTube. So the first one is the Sea Talk palette. This is from Laura May Beauty. These are the newest releases in my collection of the ones that I'm showing you today, but these are really fun color stories and I think they're ideal for the springtime because they're such colorful palettes and then one in here just kind of like screams bunnies in springtime, I'll show you. But yeah, a lot of like mermaidy shades I think is kind of what the theme of this was and I definitely get that. They're just very beautiful and vibrant and scream spring and summertime. If you don't know and if you haven't watched my eyeshadow ranking video of all the eyeshadows that I tried in the year of 2022, Odin's Eye, was my favorite. Their palette from their holiday release was legitimately my number one palette. Such good quality. So yeah, Odin's Eye never disappoints. This one happens to be kind of heavier on the shimmers than it is on the mattes. And some of the mattes are like cool tones. And so I think you can use this sometimes as more of a companion palette. I think that it's not really ideal for an everyday use unless you're using like minimal looks, right? Like you're doing one matte to one shimmer. I just wouldn't like create this kind of look on an everyday basis to go to the office. And so this is not a palette I would reach for for every day, but I think that the quality is really, really good. I created some fun looks with this and I could see myself hanging out with this palette, but I think that it was a little bit difficult for me to mix some of the cooler tones with some of the brighter shimmers, but the quality is amazing. I almost feel like it's kind of a companion palette for me just because of the way that I like to pair my mattes with my shimmers and that sort of thing, but I was able to create some pretty fun looks with it. So the next one is the Planet Spirit palette, and this is from Betty Jean over at Batty Bean. This is such a vibrant, like really, really colorful color story that this is spring and summer. Like I'm not busting this out in fall. Like this is definitely gonna sit in the drawer at fall time. I'm only gonna play with this in spring and summer. I love the layout of this. Now, while I think it's hard for me to think of like how I would pair these shades together to give myself a transition shade and then like a deepening shade, just cause I'm, you know, I'm pretty new at eyeshadow. I get kind of limited in some of the looks that I create. I just started like playing with eyeshadows probably like a year and a half ago at this point. But what I love about this palette is you have a shimmer that matches like the color of the mattes. Like every one of these pairs with the one below it and it's an even ratio between mattes and shimmers and I told you already, I absolutely love that. Just a fun, really bright color story. Great and perfect for spring and summer. The next one is the one I was talking about that literally screams like bunnies and butterflies, which is the Flora Story palette. And this one is from Makeup Just For Fun. This is a light cool tone color story. So I think we're at like number three of the cool tones <laughs> that I have in today's video for the ones that I would use in spring. Just not as many that I'm interested in, but this is just so like little bunnies, like little bunnies. It just gives me little bunny vibes. And it's such like morning springtime is what I think of when I think of this palette. And while there's some cool tones in here, they're really fun like colors. You know, you get this teal shimmer, this purple. They're just really fun springtime color stories. And I, I, I like the light greens also in springtime and I love them for like shimmers. That's probably like my favorite way to wear like a really lime green. It's just in a really metallic, really impactful shimmer for springtime. So again, quality is fantastic on these. Every one of these performs exactly the same, even though some of them have 
whew, almost dropped it, even though some of them have more shimmers than they do mattes in them. It's just, oh, Odin's Eye does such a superb job. Okay, the final palette that I have that I pull out in spring and summertime is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. I did go a little bit deeper with this look because I don't know, I was just having fun with it. So for me, honestly, it's just the green and the orange that does it. These two here don't signify any kind of spring or summertime for me, but the majority of this palette is on the lighter, like brighter side. And so I don't think I would wear this like in fall. I don't know, maybe I would, but it's just that the everyday reachable colors are more spring for me. And honestly, I love these little six pan shadows from Kaleidos. If I could have, I would have picked up the whole collection. I didn't and some of them are no longer being made. They're just discontinued at this point. This is the Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. I just think that it's really fun. This shimmer right here screams spring to me. These two scream spring. This one is a little bit of a stretch. Like it definitely could be used kind of like any time of year. I just think personally for me, I'm probably gonna reach for this more in the spring and possibly the summer. This one is definitely the harder one in this video simply because I feel like this doesn't live anywhere else, right? Like this lives for me in spring. It really doesn't live anywhere else in my life or in my head in any other month. I'm sorry, I had to get up and turn on the fan. It starts to get hot up here while I'm filming, but I only have two more palettes that I wanna go over. These are just bonus palettes that I haven't actually tried yet. They are new to my collection, not that they are new releases, but I am dying to try these. And I think that their color stories are best suited for like this time of year and I wanted to throw these in here just to kind of let you know that these ones are going to be ones that I'm going to be reaching for. One of these has actually sat in my collection for a little while and I haven't actually had a chance to use it. One is very very new. So the first one that is very very new that is not a new release but very very new to me is the Escape Pod palette from Kaleidos. I see a lot of people like decluttering this palette recently on a lot of declutter videos. Oh it's not happening. Like unless this is just subpar formulation. This is not going anywhere. These are super bright, fun colors, great spring and summer. I can see a ton of different looks that I can create with this palette. And Kaleidos has a really, really good formula. This packaging is honestly super sturdy. Like I didn't realize that it was just so sturdy and so like hefty, but yeah, I mean, it's got like, it's like a book. It's like a legitimate book, big old mirror in here. I have not swatched this. I haven't even touched it. I try not to like swatch my palettes anymore unless I'm doing it on camera. I don't know, simply because I don't want them to look tainted if I'm just gonna, you know, try them on camera for the first time. But this is a really old release, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna use it for my own personal use. But yeah, aren't these colors great for spring? Like, oh, I'm dying to use this, you guys. I have so many new palettes in my collection, but some of them are on the darker color story side. So this one is for sure coming out right now, this time of year, going to be trying that. So the next one that I have is from a brand that I haven't tried anything from before. This is Bella Beauté Bar, I believe I'm saying it correctly, and this is the Star Cross Lovers palette. I have mentioned in other videos that I'm like dedicated to trying new indie brands this year, and so this will be my first palette from them. I hear that the quality is honestly so, so good, so I'm super excited to try this. This is all just chock full of like purples and pinks and mm, mm, mm. Again, another one I haven't swatched. I've actually had this one for a, a little bit, like a month maybe more, and I haven't actually used it yet. So yeah, this is the time of year. I'm gonna bust this little bad boy out. I'm so excited to give this a shot. It's the perfect color story for spring, and some of these shimmers look to die for. So yeah, this one, Bella Beauté Bar, hopefully I'm saying it correctly. This is Star Cost Lovers. This is just one of the palettes that I saw in their line, knowing that I wanted to try it, because I have heard other people say that their quality was good. This was the color story that really just appealed to me the most, because this was like colors that I absolutely love on my skin tone and just, you know, against the color of my eyes, that sort of thing. So these are two bonus palettes that I wanted to throw in there just to let you know that I will be trying these for the springtime months. I am sure that those are going to go in an updated video, kind of ranking my palettes at some point. I don't know exactly when I'm going to be doing that, but I definitely will. So there will be an update on their quality. However, I am familiar with Kaleidos' formula and it is really, really good. That is it for me today, you guys. I'd love to hear in the comments whether or not some of these are the palettes that you're gonna be using for the springtime, if you agree with any of my selections, if you have any that you're gonna be pulling out from your collection, and or if you disagree with some of my selections from today's video, I enjoy doing these. I have a lot of fun playing with eyeshadow. It's probably my favorite product recently. 
me. It switches back and forth between like foundation blush and eyeshadow. <laughs> Honestly, I've been trying to like branch out and create some pretty fun looks with eyeshadow. So it's always fun to talk about eyeshadows. I am going to end here as the sun is going down and I tried to film. So we got a little bit of sunshine in the springtime, a little bit of sunset we were, while we were filming. So it is over. This video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys consider subscribing if you are not already and hit that notification button so you can be notified of my future uploads. That is all for me today. I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.